Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a new course on Open Search. Here is the video which is going to provide you the complete comprehensive guide of knowing what is Open Search. So, like other tools in the market, Open Search is also a search and analytics tool which we use for storing, searching, and analyzing the data. Other tools in the market like Elasticsearch, Splunk, Cribble, etc. So, this tool also helps you to analyze the data like logs, metrics, application logs, application data, etc. So, this tool is commonly used in IT security, um, oftenly integrated with Splunk and Cribble. Here is a course outline which we have designed module wise. We will discuss these all modules in our playlist. So we'll discuss the introduction, we'll discuss how the installation and setup is done, we'll talk about architecture, we'll talk about how the data is ingested in the open search, how we search the data in open search. What about the open search dashboards, alerting, monitoring, performance, security, integrations with the other tools. Also, we'll discuss about the use cases and real world uh, applications. So here is a complete course outline which has been designed to give this comprehensive guide. Let's talk about the module one, which is introduction to open search. Here is the definition what is an open search open search is an open source distributed search and analytic suite derived from elastic search it provides a powerful platform for full text search log analytics and real-time monitoring so open search is actually a search engine plus analytics tool which is designed for large-scale data management it helps you to manage your large amount of data and helps you to do fast searching it is actually a tool which you use for storing searching and analyzing data this is the definition let's talk about the history and background so originally elastic search was a popular open source search and analytics engine designed by Elastic. In 2021, Elastic changed the license of Elastic Search and Kibana from Apache 2.0 to proprietary SSPL. In response, Amazon Web Services for Elastic Search 7.10, which is the latest version of Apache 2.0, and created Open Search to ensure this remained fully open source. Let's talk about the key features of Open Search. Here is the list of the all features of Open Search. Let's discuss one by one. So, first one is distributed search engine. Distributed search engine allows searching across large, uh, large uh, data sets efficiently. So, it actually makes searches very fast and scalable even we are we, when we are handling the large amount of data so for example if you are have millions of records so open search can help you to search them quickly even if they are stored on different servers so this is what this feature means you can search large data sets over the multiple servers efficiently Next is full text search. It supports powerful text searching capabilities. So if you are going to search the data using keywords, phrases, or any specific filters, it helps you to search the data. You can also use wildcards or some other fuzzy search. So for example, if you want to search some error logs, then you can, uh, then open search can help you to correct, um, find them accurately. Rest full APIs. This is the another feature. It uses simple HTTP based APIs to interact with the data. So it actually uh, helps you to easily send queries, uh, retrieve data and perform some operations using API. So if you want to write a program to uh, automatically fetch and analyze logs from open search, you can use this particular feature. Next is scalability. Scalability 
are designed to handle large scale of data with clustering, sharding, and replications. So it actually helps you to handle the large scale of data using these techniques. So it, it also ensures like um, high performance, reliability, even if the data grows. So for example, if your company wants to expand the data from 100 GB to 10 TB, then open search can easily manage it. Next features is um, real time analytics. This feature supports log analytics and data aggregation. So if you want to analyze live data stream in real time, this feature helps you. So if you want to track some trends, some, um, some detect some issues or monitor uh, system health, etc. So this actually helps you. So next one is the security features, which offers authentication, access control and encryption. So this provides actually the data production. You can restrict access so only authorized users can send your sensitive data. Next feature is machine learning support, which includes anomaly detection for identifying unusual patterns in data. So open search includes um, AI, AI powered anomaly detection, which actually helps you to find unusual patterns in data which is useful for fraud deduction, security monitoring, or some predictive analysis. For example, a bank can detect a suspicious transaction and flag them uh, and review them. So this feature helps a lot. Next one is dashboard realization. Open search dashboard similar to Kibana for data realization. It allows you to realize data in charts, uh, graphs, and reports. Helps in understanding trends, monitoring logs, and making decisions. So if you want to create a dashboard, maybe showing the server performance or showing some errors or network traffic, etc., these features can be used for creating the dashboard. Next is the comparison between the open search versus elastic search. So if we talk about these features like license, so open search uses Apache 2.0, which is free and open search. However, elastic search is SSPL proprietary. Next, open search is community driven. Yes, it is fully open, uh, open development, but elastic search is controlled by elastic. If we talk about the security, open search have built in security that is also for free, but elastic search have paid security features. If we talk about machine learning here, anomaly deduction is also free, but here paid ML features. Dashboarding is also free in open search. However, in Kibana, it is SSPL proprietary. If we talk about plugins, open search also supports the open search plugins. However, in elastic search, we use, we can only use these features if you are going to pay it. So this is all about the comparison between the open search and elastic. Why use open search? So uh, here are the some pointers we going to discuss why we should use open search apart from other tools which are available on market. So first one is fully open source. So open search is actually free and open source tool wherein we don't have any license restriction unlike Elasticsearch. So here we don't need any paid license because open search is completely free to use. We have another feature which is feature risk. It includes security, ML and analytics to no extra cost, which is not available in other tools, which without any additional charges. So it includes security, machine learning, analytics. Here, um, it is also compatible with Elasticsearch. So if you used uh, Elasticsearch in earlier, you can easily migrate it. So here, easy migration is also available, which is very simple and hassle free. We also have strong community support, which is backed by AWS and an active open source community. So which actually ensures continuous improvements, which is also a very good feature that 
ensures that why should use the open source another one is scalability that is um, and security so open search is designed for high scale deployment which is within the security feature it can handle the large efficient uh, data uh, while keeping it secure or not and authorized and encrypted so this is another feature which actually tells why we have uh, we should use open search apart from other tools in the market because it actually benefits a lot and firstly it is fully open search and free tool in the market here is the open search data workflow diagram which explains step by step process how exactly uh, data moves and what processing is done how indexing is done etc which i'll explain so let's talk about this step one uh, step one which is uh, collecting the data from different sources like uh, logs from databases or any APIs or extreme. So open search actually gather, gathers the data from different sources um, and like logs, APIs and live data streams. So it, it, it collects the data. So uh, for example, if website collects some customer searches or some product details or any user activity details, so we can actually collect the data from these sources. Next step is processing the data so before storing the data in open search open search actually processes them so we do parsing we do transformation and filtering parsing actually breaks the data into the structured part for easy search and then we transform the data while modifying the data or converting into the lowercase or uniformity then filtering the data we also we can also filter the data which we don't need so we can remove all the unwanted data step three is storing the data which includes this indexing and storage step so here open search is actually organized and open search actually organize and store the data using the index instead of storing some raw files it indexes the data and makes search faster it also creates certs uh, which is actually known as um, which is actually a small portion of data which also creates the replicas to improve the performance and reality which we'll discuss in detail when we'll talk about the architecture what is the certs what is this index replicas etc next step is searching the data uh, searching and analyzing the data which can be done using query execution so when a user searches for something so open search runs a query to find the relevant data it actually supports um, filtering aggregation like grouping the data and real-time analysis so this actually done using this uh, step then the last step open search dashboards what which means how to realize the data so open search provides dashboards display data in a form of graphs charts or reports so for example a security team can monitor the system logs on the dashboard to detect uh, potential cyber threats using these dashboards so this is a workflow which step by step explain how the data is um, uh, process indexed and how the data can be searched in open search next are the use cases of open search here are the some list of them the first one that is log analytics so this is mainly used by the security teams for same solutions and system monitoring here uh, it and security team uses open search to collect and analyze the data from different servers application and network so they can use it to direct some uh, or investigate some security threats or or any other um, notifications using open search search applications so here e-commerce product search website search engines and documents are done so search functionality in websites or something open search actually um, widely used for building search engines inside the e-commerce platform so for example uh, when you search any specific product on amazon open search helps you to retrieve relevant results quickly next use case is observability and monitoring it stores and realize the data metrics and traces for 
IT infrastructure. So open search helps in tracking system performance by collecting logs, metrics and traces. For example, a cloud service provider monitors server uptime failure using open search dashboards. So this is actually used for monitoring. Next is business intelligence. It supports data analysis and reporting with dashboards. Open search helps uh, business analysis uh, uh, like tra sales trains, customer behavior and financial reports. So if company uses open search to analyze which product sells best in the different seasons. So they can use um, these are the use cases which helps to they can use the open search to understand the, their trends of specific product. So if we talk about the conclusion, like open search is a powerful tool for handling large search of data and actually useful for different business uh, security teams, developers to analyze their real time data, uh, secure their data storage, etc. So the summary uh, here we have created a pointer. So open search is a versatile search and analytics platform. It supports various enterprise applications from logging to business intelligence, open source and highly scalable, making it cost effective alternative to proprietary solutions. So that's it for this video. We have discussed the module one, which is introduction to the open search. We'll meet you soon in next module. Thank you everyone. Thanks a lot.